Hey guys, it's Colleen. Um, I am in making another tutorial, finally. I know it's been months. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do a certain text effect. I did not come up with. I learned how to do this. I've been experimenting with it. And um, I'm just going to show you how. So first things first is get your clip, obviously, and figure out where your text is going to be. So after you do that, you're going to go and make a video track. I'm going to get your legacy text. And okay. Now, so for this clip or part, it says heaven. So I'm going to put an H for heaven. You're not going to spell the whole word. You're just going to put an H. Okay, now you're going to figure out what font you're going to use. Okay, so I got my font. So now I'm going to scale it. And let's see. That's good. Now I'm going to position it. And it's better to do it in pan and crop than um, in the legacy text properties. Okay, so put it off to the side or wherever you want it. And then from here, we're going to do some keyframing. Put it all the way down. And then move to like four or th um, three. Three. Three is good. And then we're going to keyframe that back up. And do it a little bit higher than what you're where you want it. Because when you, after you do that, you're going to go make another keyframe frame and put it back to where you want it. And it's going to look like this. Okay. So I'm going to make it a little bit higher. And make that a little higher. Okay. That looks good. And you just gotta adjust the keyframes to where you want them. Okay, give it a little bounce. Okay, so now after that's done, you're going to right click on the track, duplicate, and then before you do anything to the top track, copy delete and paste make sure it says copy the source not the original okay so now we're gonna go back into properties on the top track and then make it transparent no wait I take that back I take that to back you're going to go to the bottom track right here, and then you're going to go to properties, and then you're going to um, make it transparent, and then you're going to add the outline, make it white, and then that's what it's going to look like. Here, let me. Even, okay, there it goes. Okay, now after you do that, you're going to go to com compositioning mode, and you're going to go and put it on add. And then you're not going to see anything because I it's transparent, but you're going to kind of make it translucent like that. And then um, after that, you're going to go to um, video effects and then you're going to go to sapphire distort and then you're going to go to warp transform and put it on the top track and then you're going to go to z dist which makes it zoom in or zoom out and then you're going to hit control and that gives you more control over 
how big you want it. And then after you do that, you're gonna go back. No, no, no. Shift X, not Y. Okay. Like that. And kind of play around with it and do what you want. Um, so I'm gonna mess around with this for a minute and get it to where I want it. That's good. I like that. And I think I might go back in to the text properties and make it a little bigger. 90. That looks a lot better. Okay. Just gotta play around with it. Okay, so the base of it is pretty much done. Now we gotta go back to the top track. And then we're gonna activate mask. And you can pretty much do anything you want with mask. Let's see, let's do let's do what I'm sure you've guys seen before. Um you go to this rectangle and then just make different recta size rectangles and go like that. Go like that, or do whatever. Yeah. So, and then go select all, and then actually before you do that, you gotta make them all negative, and then you go and then you select and then you go all and then you can rotate them or scale them or whatever you want and then you can keyframe the yeah the masks and delete and then let's preview that Yeah, and then after we do that, we're going to make another track. Now, get another legacy text. Okay, and type out the word. Now, you're going to want to make the font smaller and, um, not as fancy as your big text. And then let's 14 is too small. Well, maybe not. So I'm going to use futuristic width or whatever you call it. And then we're going to position it where we want it. See how this looks. So I'm gonna make it bold. That's better. I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger too. Go to 18. That's good. I'm gonna keyframe this. And then I'm gonna make it go back to default. And then let's see how that looks. That looks good. Now, you know, you, you can do any kind of variation on this. Um, let me know if you have any questions. If you also have any requests, let me know and I will see you next time.